Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we move to present-day Sebastian County, Arkansas for what was called either the Battle of Devil's Backbone or the action at Devil's Backbone, depending on which side you're on. This occurred on September 1st, 1863. Commanding the attacking Union forces was Colonel William F. Cloud, who had distinguished himself back in 1862 at the Battle of Wilson's Creek and who had after the war moved to Carthage, Missouri to become a speaker and author. Following him were more than 1,500 men comprised of the 2nd Kansas Cavalry, the 6th Missouri Cavalry, and the 2nd Indiana Battery. Being chased today was a returning Confederate Brigadier General William L. Cabell. Following General William Cabell were 1,250 men from the 1st and 6th Arkansas Cavalry. As would become much more common, the Union would take the win today. After the Battle of Honey Springs, Union General Blunt held Fort Smith and desiring to stop the retreating Confederate forces, he sent Colonel Cloud and his men to pursue Cabell and his Confederate cavalry. On September 1st, Union Colonel Cloud caught up to Confederate General Cabell at an ominous place called the Devil's Backbone, specifically at the base of the mountain that formed a ridge in Ojeda Mountains, more than 16 miles south of Fort Smith. The battle did not start well for Union Colonel Cloud as his advanced cavalry scouts rolled right into Confederate ambush. The surviving members of the scouts retreated while they were being bombarded by Confederate artillery. Cloud reacted quickly, ordering his artillery to set up across the road. Meanwhile, he ordered his cavalry to dismount on either side of the road and advance up the mountain. Seeing the approaching Union troops, the Confederate ambushers moved out of their positions and retreated upwards, trying to avoid the Union confrontation. This is where Cabell's trust in some of his Confederates showed that he was wrong as the first leading regiment of the Confederate troops didn't engage at all. They just retreated even when they held the superior ground. The Union ran off that Ford regiment along with another regiment in Cabell's left flank without a shot being fired. Within moments, Cabell's forces that remained were just one cavalry regiment, one artillery battery, and just a small portion of a single infantry regiment. Cloud was able to guide his troops to only a quarter of a mile away before fighting became hot and both sides exchanged artillery and small arms fire. Cabell adjusted his artillery, preparing to receive an assault. Union Colonel Cloud was satisfied with standing back and shooting. Battle ended by nightfall and both sides claimed victory even though Cabell and his Confederates were the ones to fully withdraw. The casualties were fairly light with the Union suffering approximately 16 dead, wounded, or missing and the Confederates losing 65 men, killed, wounded, missing, or captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.